up here, I used this pole, this stick, see this wooden cave in that didn't, that worked. Pounded that down in there to support it. Now I'll cave it down and I'll know right where I need to be. That's where that old extract bottle came from and that marble in my last episode. Get back on it, see what else I can do. Out of there and that's got a funny tint to it. And that's, look at that, that's a federal law flash, but oh yeah, it's real. Like olive green. I'm gonna have to take that one. That's a really cool looking little flask. Federal for law forbid sale or reuse of this bottle. Nothing else on it, but it would have been a paper label. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's probably some kind of old Avon bottle. Look at that with the cap. It would have been spectacular. Look at that oriental figure. I don't know what that would have been, but a vase or something. That's nice. Might even be the base of a lamp or something. I don't know. Yeah, I thought that was going to be embossed. It's got nice panels up the side. It's just a little cork. Nothing on it. I'll take it. Man, look at that. That's like a weird sauce bottle, huh? I found like 20 of these Atlas Masons, these square ones. But they're so Bang, I'm gonna have to keep this down right there in the wall. I'll try to get that out. I don't know if you can see that at the tip. It's some big bottle. I don't know what that is. Get out. I think I got a good fun digging it out. Oh, I did if this ain't broke. But hopefully, this has weight. It's embossed. Oh, right. What is this? Oh, right. White House. For a generation, the standard vinegar. It don't have the White House on it. I don't know that I've, I haven't found this. Plus there's something else that I'm hitting a good layer. But you see how deep I am. And there's a rock of death, as usual, right there, sticking back in there that would probably crush me if it fell. But what a find. What a find. Well, that was definitely worth the trip. That's a pretty photogenic bottle, isn't it? You know, from about 1930 to 1940, a vinegar pour, that is nice. It's just nice condition, and it's a nice one. That's a $20 bill. It's worth 20 and always will be. Nice. Thanks for watching. Took that down there to my bag. Just got out of there in time. The rock of death fell. I got to get that out of there, but now the hole's wide, and so I can get down there to it, but it'll probably take me an hour. I'll get back. That was a good thing. rock fell and all this. I was reaching back in from right up here. You can start to see why. Look at this layer. Hopefully there's marbles in it. That white house is just a major plus. Look, there's a nice little jar. It's Cleveland high. I'll take that one. That's kind of nice. Over here. Okay. Okay. Scooping. I don't use a shovel much, but when I get a key van, I kind of scoop some out. Fit one. This fell right out of the shovel. Will you see it? Hopefully, this is. Oh, it's break. Look at it. I think it's a squirrel. That's too bad. This break. Big rocks right there. It slipped again. There's no way I can pick it up. But look what's right behind it. Oh yeah. Just like the one in my last video. Another yellow. I bet you this will fluoresce. This is a Cairo. You can see it's got a C on it. This is nice. Well, this one fluoresces real kind of peachy orange. So it's got cadmium or selenium in the glass. And you know, you could call that an alley agate, but I think these are Cairo novelty company marbles. I found other for sure Cairo's right in there and I'm on a throwaway of them. And there's not a lot known about that factory, so this is good. Maybe I can get a big run. See, there's a C and I found one with an R and it's like they spelled out Cairo. They and it's kind of a cool prescription bottle with these numbers on it. It's got a crack, but I found several of these. I thought I'd show you one. I'll show you some of the bottles at the end. I dig something that looks amazing. If it's not a bead, I think I got a peewee marble. See it right there? I think it is. It's got that look to it. It's some kind of little 
Awesome peewee, look at it. It's swir oh, this is nice. I wonder what this is. It can't be a marble king. It might be an old, but it's like a swirl. Fix, this is nice. Well, here's this little peewee. You can see it's got another, I'll have to get that, that's rust steaming right there. I can get that off, but look, another swirl to it. And it glows orange. And see how small it is. Look at it beside the marble I found previously. And they both glow the same color orange. I wonder if Cairo made peewees. I don't know. But they might have. Because that's an older marble. What is that? See, marble on the right from my last upload, it glows orange. The marble today. The marble today is a little nicer. But I'd say they're both Cairo Novelty Company. Very cool, huh? Now I see this stuff. I just saw this. I thought it was a marble. First, look at this. It's like tiger eye type stuff, but it's a button. Look at the shank right on the back of it. It's kind of cool. So here's another good find. Look at it's. This is leaded glass. It's an old ashtray. It's like looks mid-century, like 40 to 50. That's nice. It's all there. It's perfect. I'm hitting that powdery layer again. Here's another big prepared by Dr. Feet, Peter Farinay and son. Chicago. Look at these big bottles. Right there. The reliable old time preparation for home use is what it says. They're all embossed, bossed up. Decent bottles. Bottles back here in this sand. Look here. Packed solid. And these ain't bad, you know, on a quick sale, three or four dollars. And like at a flea market, you have these on a tape, like a three dollar table, people just buy them all. They sell good, they're nice and look. That just came out behind it. Another big federal law look, like a prism side art deco look. Just stuff everywhere. Yeah, I just had a massive cave in. I can't take any more, I can't dig that out. I don't have it in me. But that caved in. The hammer's missing back there. Well, actually, it's a squirt gun, so it ain't just the plugs missing. I'll have to take that. It's marked. That's kind of cool, ain't it? Irwin. I thought that was break. That's a squirt gun. I can find a little. That's probably worth a little. It's one of the cooler ones I've ever found. That probably works. No, this was a really cool find. Looks like it's from the 40s, early 50s. Irwin. And all is it's missing is the little plug. And I pulled the trigger. I think I'll be able to get it to work. I'll have to do some more cleaning on it. I can only clean so much. I'm getting ready. I ate. I'm going to go back and dig some more. So there will be more coming. Working on another video. This is mighty cool. I'd say that's some electrical thing. But look at the glazing on that. It's even got some. Look at that. That's beautiful. Looks like a spool. Look. You know, I've never seen this. Newport Turpentine. Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, and Memphis. I should probably take that since I've never seen it. Some of you want it. You know, look. That still has the state of a high tax stamp on it. That old whiskey. Got an awesome bear figure in it. But look what else I got. There's a little salt glaze crock right there in the back. Go get it out in a minute. I've been finding a lot of stuff like that. I just haven't been showing it. This is amazing. This bear. It's old too. It looks all there and I think it's a salt pepper shaker it is. But let's... This is cracking. Hold on. Well, how cool is this little guy? Real porcelain looking, real well done bear figurine. I love it. It looks like porcelain. And it's a salt and pepper shaker. That's really cool, huh, to find free in the ground. Here's the croc. It's got damage. Thank God it didn't say nothing on it. I got all the pieces. I can glue it together. Like that, it's worth 10 bucks glued back together. If that would have had writing on it and been perfect, it would have been a thousand dollars. Take it. Well, 
I'm back from the dump and working on a video. But my mom went to the store. And look, Squirrel Man got blueberries. And he just, he got up for that. I put them in his... You getting, you getting blueberries? See, he'll, he'll even attack to keep them. It's his favorite. Look at him. Look at him. He's trying to attack me through the bars to keep his... He's greedy with them. He loves them. He'll eat them all. Look at him. The dog's right there. He's running the dog off. Alright, I'll see you folks. Squirrel Man's getting aggressive.